Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jamia's Promo. Today we will be talking about the Samsung official edge lighting that goes around the Infinity O display, which is the front facing camera cutouts on the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top so you can check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. Now, I did cover this about three three months ago, almost four months ago, but I still get asked questions. There's also new customers with the S10 series and new subscribers here on the channel of Jimmy's promo. So first off, let's go to the very top of the phone, pull down the notifications panel twice and look for where it says edge lighting. Now mine is on the second page of these quick settings. So just locate yours press and hold on edge lighting, the icon, and this will get you into all of the customizations for edge lighting. In this screen, you can see all these different customization options, such as when you can see the edge lighting, you can either have it when the screen is only on, maybe when the screen is off, or you can have it as always, so it's either gonna be working when the screen is on or off. Now, the second one here is the style. So for my style of edge lighting, it's going around the Infinity O display. Now, if you go underneath the effect, you might notice that you don't have these options right here. Now the options you do have is right over here, which is basically the larger image inside the square. So you can see how these are larger than these images here. So these right here is everything stuck when you first get the phone. And when you see the little uh, rings and bubbles on the inside, this just means that you do have the edge lighting going around the phone, but with that little pop-up of edge lighting, you will see bubbles, or you can also see waves. So you can see how that is where it's a little bit different. But when you go through and you add in what I'm about to show you here, you are able to get more options such as celebrate, you also have the Eclipse, which goes right around the camera. If you have the Galaxy S10e, this is what it'll look like with the single hole punch out. And then when you have the double hole, that's what it'll look like. You've already seen it a few times. So now let's go through and I'll show you where you can get those extra options of customizing edge lighting. So first off, you are able to go inside of GoodLock, but if for some reason you're not able to download GoodLock, then you can go inside of the normal Galaxy Essentials, and then you'll actually search for Edge Lighting Plus. So right here where you see Edge Lighting Plus, you can click there. It'll be this very first option here. This is where you can go to download, install, and then you can open it. Now, because mine's already downloaded, I can see those options. So what I will do now is I will head inside of here. I'll actually go through and uninstall it really quick. Now check this out. If I was to go through here one more time, go back to edge lighting, you can see that my edge lighting style was actually turned off. It's because all those options that I had right over here is now gone. So this is what you have stock right out of the box. So I'm just gonna hit on done, but I do wanna add in all those other options. So you already saw that you can go inside of your Galaxy Essentials, inside of Galaxy Essentials, search for Edge Lighting Plus, and this is where you go to download it. So that is one way you can do it. Now for anybody else who has good luck, when you open up GoodLock, this is where you can download it again off of that Galaxy Essentials, search for GoodLock. These are all the applications that's made by Samsung for Samsung, and it's underneath the family side. So I hope that makes sense. You can get it through GoodLock, which again is downloaded through Galaxy Essentials, which is where we just were. And then you can see that built into GoodLock is Edge Lighting Plus. And it's gonna look the exact same as what you just saw on the last screen. So again, through GoodLock, or through the normal Galaxy Essentials searching for Edge Lighting Plus. So either way you have this one downloaded, once you get it done and installed, you can open it up right from there. Or what you're able to do is pull down your notifications panel twice, head right back over into Edge Lighting, press and hold. And this is where you go back inside of the Edge Lighting Style. And then underneath Effect, you can see all those extra options. Now through here, this is where you can choose the color and duration. So through the color, you can have it always show green or yellow. Uh, you can have it show red, really whatever color you want it to show. I, I did dim the camera a little bit, so it's a little bit darker, so you can see it just a little bit better. Um, or you can also go through a custom color uh, and you can go through and change some of those. Um, you can even do basic color, but really what you could do is underneath the custom color, you can do it by application. So Facebook could be a light blue, Instagram could be like an orange, but for me, I see Instagram a little bit more of kind of like that color, a little pinkish. 
uh, Facebook. This one's a light blue messages. This is kind of a dark blue. I can make it even darker. So they look even a little bit more different. Uh, Snapchat is gonna be yellow and so you can make it look yellow. So that one looks look perfectly fine. You can also reset those as well too. So really, it's really nice that you're able to go through and cut, get all these things customized. And then you can go underneath duration. You can make it a short one where it just kind of blinks just a few times um, or you can make it long and it'll go just a little bit longer. Now, when you go through, you saw that there was only four options underneath the bottom for effect. So let's say that we go over inside a color, custom color. You can see that there's only four applications that's sitting right there. That is because when you go through, you can change and manage the notifications. And there was only four applications that was turned on, which was messages. And so now let's turn on Hangouts and let's might as well uh let's go through and just for fun let's turn on bank of america so now if we go on back we do the edge lighting style we go back into color we go to custom color now those last ones that we just added in which is bank of america and hangouts will now show up that's how you're able to add more applications and change you know how they kind of look so once you have all that done you got your duration you got your effects set up then you can hit on done. Now that's really the whole gist of this entire video, but I do wanna show you something else as well. When you go through your effect, and let's say that you go through maybe this wave option, you'll have more options down here, and it's talking about transparency, width, and everything else. So this was not a part of the very top on the camera option in terms of transparency, but you want your transparency to be extremely low so you can see it pop up a lot easier. If you bring your transparency, you're talking about transparency of the light. So it's something that won't be as seen. So make sure you have this one low so you can definitely see it and then go underneath the width and you don't want it to be narrow because it's gonna be pretty small. You might as well go as wide as possible so it's easier to see. So now that we got pretty much everything set up the way that we want, I'm gonna go right back over here. I'm actually gonna turn off the Bank of America, but I will be keeping the Hangouts turned on. Let's go back to the edge lighting style, go back to effect. Let's put it right back over into Eclipse. The color is perfectly fine. Uh, duration is looking good. And so now let's go through and I'm gonna send myself a text message just so we can see everything at the very, you know, uh, you know, everything that we just worked for, everything we just watched, we're gonna see how it turned out. So you can see right there, uh, we put it as the custom color. So because it is a text message, you're gonna be seeing it as blue. Now, if I was to head over inside of Snapchat, let's say that we go on through and I send myself a picture. Um, we're gonna be sending this one over into dad. This is actually my son's phone right here. Uh, so now what you're gonna see is something that should be yellow. Uh, and that is because it's from Snapchat. So that is how you're able to get everything customized. Again, if you don't want it to go between each application, uh, you are able to go through color and just make it one color. Usually green is my favorite. Uh, but other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here, this very bottom left-hand circle. Click that. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.